Uh, welcome to breakfast. It's your local breakfast show for Herefordshire and Worcestershire. Tammy and the team with you here until 10 o'clock uh, today. And I don't know whether you've seen this. You, you may have seen them soaring through the Redditch skyline recently. But the Starlings, which have been entertaining locals, are coming towards the end of their time in the town for another year. Now, over the last few months, thousands of the birds have gathered at dusk above their roost site near the Kingfisher Shopping Centre. And the flying Starlings, officially called a murmuration, form these incredible patterns and shapes in the sky. Have you ever seen them? It's quite incredible to see. Our reporter Matt Hutchinson has been to Redditch for a fact-finding mission, hoping to get one Final glimpse of the birds. Well, many of you may be wondering, what actually is a murmuration? I had the exact same question when I was sent out to this story. It's basically the name for a flying flock of starlings. So yeah, not a word we'd usually use. And they're now a viral sensation. So I thought I'd come down to Redditch, see what all the fuss is about and ask people in the town centre here what the starlings actually have to offer. I think it's absolutely beautiful to watch and it is mesmerising. You're looking up upwards potentially than looking downwards at some of the grot we've got. But I think it's just a beautiful thing that we see some sort of nature like this that doesn't happen everywhere. Does it lift your mood? Oh yeah, most definitely, most definitely it does. As an older man anyhow, I've got into liking Stalin's this, that and everything, you know. And to see them over Redditch, because they're not everywhere all the time, but uh, they have been here the last week or two, so I'm told, you know. But when I see them, whee, like, you know, I find it hard to draw myself away. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. There was a large flock flew over the elders in the Trafford Park and lots of people were coming out and videoing it and showing the children. Redditch obviously, sadly, does cop a bit of stick from people in the West Midlands. Is it a positive thing for Redditch to have an attraction and something a bit more light-hearted for people to talk about here? Definitely. Yes, the town centre is a bit dull. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I'm now going to head up to the Kingfisher Shopping Centre Car Park 2 roof. Quite the mouthful. I've heard people gathering here most evenings, basically, dozens of them on some nights to get a really close, magnificent view of these magnificent birds. My name's Richard Choll and I'm not working at the present time. Richard, thank you so much for your time today. These starlings, what do they add to Redditch as a natural attraction? Any natural attraction is a good attraction. I think it's put Redditch on the map. Lots of people still don't know where Redditch is. And I think uh, being one of the biggest starling murmurations in the local area, I think it's a really good thing. What about the starlings really attract you and sort of ignite your passion, if you will, to give up your own time to be here? The world can be a very negative place, but this is such a positive thing to see and it's such a nat natural phenomena. It is uh, uplifting in every way. Sadly, tonight is not meant to be, I don't think. I've been here for a good hour and a half and I've only seen one or two starlings, so not quite the hundreds and thousands that I've seen in photos and videos online. But yeah, hugely significant for Redditch to have an attraction of a natural nature, something positive for people here to enjoy and talk about. Matt Hutchinson reporting from Redditch. Let's speak now to Justin, who is passionate about starlings and has been watching them for a number of years. Justin, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me on. It's a pleasure. Thank you for coming on. You're a real fan of starlings, aren't you? Why do they fascinate you so much? It's just Mother Nature doing doing its free aerial display. It's, you know, it's a, an absolute wonder to, to watch the birds just doing what the birds do. I remember growing up, um, I, I grew up in Birmingham and um, when I'd go into town, into the, into the centre and you'd watch those murmurations at dusk, it's a sight to behold, isn't it? It's absolutely oh, magnificent. Definitely. Um, I said my first one 16 years ago and I was like, what's this? 
why they're doing this. Mm. And from that moment, I was hooked and I did my research and I've, this, I've just finished my 16th season. Good Lord. Um, so th- therefore, since you've been watching them for a long time and you must know a lot of stuff, w- why will they have come to Redditch, do you think? So I believe they've come from Redditch from a, a much bigger roost at Brandon Marsh in Coventry um, because Redditch started to develop as Brandon Marsh was coming to an end. Now, Brandon Marsh had in excess of 50,000 birds. Um, so they, they tend to sort of then split off mm. and get closer to, I believe, closer to Norfolk where they'll, they'll all sort of gather and then go back to Northern Europe. Wow. Amazing. Um, so fifty. when you consider there could be 50,000, is that how many you'll be seeing in a murmuration up in the sky? How come they don't bump into one another? And why do they do uh, it? My, my, my belief is it's a massive bird social gathering. They're, they're talking about <laughs> where they've been feeding, where the best food is. It's the safety in numbers. makes it harder for a predator to single out a single bird. Um, the reason they do their, their sort of tight twist shapes is they spot a predator. It's almost like they're trying to hypnotise the predator and... and ward it off in big wow. numbers. Wow. Um, and the amount of starlings are at Brandon Marsh this season, at one point they actually turned day into night as they went across the sun. They were just that tightly packed and that many of them. Gosh, but that's I, incredible. I believe that that's where they've, they've, they've come from Brandon to Redditch, just like a stopgap. It's amazing. And, and they, they don't, you know, you'd expect them to be dropping out of the sky because they've bumped into one another, you know. But the, you, the, the choreography... Yeah, you do get sometimes collisions in the sky. Um, it's that's inevitable at, at points, but they seem if you see a few bumping through each other, they they'll tend to drop, but then they'll they'll join the roost again. Man, this is great. And where did you say they'll be going next then? Because they're on they're going back to Northern Europe. So which way are they going to go again? So the last couple of weeks, there's been a huge gathering at Great Yarmouth, um, which is obviously all the sort of roosts making their way back over towards the Norfolk area, and then they'll sort of. They'd be well on the way now. Um, I, I believe I haven't been to Redditch for a couple of weeks now, but I believe Redditch is now done and dusted. Uh, apart from the local starlings that hang around, uh, breed, raise their young. But yeah, so they'll, they'll head to Norfolk, back over to Northern Europe, Denmark, uh, Norway, Amazing. places like that. Have you seen any particularly spectacular murmurations over the years? Is the one that stands out for you? Uh, Brandon Marsh this this season was unreal. The numbers were much bigger. Um, this season, but then also I followed more roosts that have been very slow this season or a no show completely. So I believe that them ones then went to Brandon Marsh, uh, which was just yes, yeah, breathtaking. Really, really cool. The only downside to it is the occasional plip plop out of the sky because I mean <laughs> they do drop <laughs> drop a little bit behind them, don't they? They do, yeah. But it's believed to be lucky. Is it? Well, I've heard, yeah. you know, I have heard that. And I, so, yeah, maybe I need to head over to Redditch quick before they've all gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take my lottery ticket with me and hold it up yeah. to the sky. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Justin, thanks for coming on. I'm with you. I think no. it looks absolutely magnificent. Thank you, mate. Definitely. All the best. No, I, thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Take thank care. You. Bye-bye. And you, bye-bye. Justin, real fan of Starlings there, and there's murmurations. You, whether, whether you know, you get the occasional plip plop or not, you've got to say, it does look magnificent, doesn't it? BBC Hereford and Worcester.